hate energy is one of the forms of energy we've talked about and we need to look into heat energy with a little bit more detail. First of all, heat is invisible and weightless. It is not matter. It doesn't have mass. It doesn't take up space. But it does travel as a fluid like uh, energy from hot to cold. You will never have heat energy going from cold to hot. In fact, cold is not a scientific word. Hot and heat is relative. Everything has heat energy. It's just that some things have higher heat energy than others. Now heat is caused by the internal motion of atoms. So the more the atoms move around, the higher heat energy that substance will have. We measure heat energy with temperature, and when we measure it, we're going to get it in Celsius. But we need to convert it to Kelvin when we get ready to do our math problems. Now there are three different ways to transfer heat. We have conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is when we transfer heat directly from one object to another. So the molecules of the two objects come into direct contact with each other. Convection is when we transfer the heat through a current in a fluid. Now understand that the definition of a fluid is to take the shape of its container. So that can be a liquid or it could be a gas. Radiation is when we transfer through, through space. We transfer through space. So if you look at my picture here, I have this little girl by the campfire and she has a pot of water on this little uh, stand over the fire. And we want to identify where conduction, convection, and radiation are taking place. Well, conduction is anywhere where the heat can be transferred through touch. So the logs are conducting heat from one log to the other from the fire. And the pot to the stand that it's on has conduction from the stand to the bottom of the pot. Now, convection is in the water and around the fire. The heat from that fire is going to uh, heat the air around it. I'm sure some of you have stood next to a bonfire or a campfire before, and you know that if you stand facing the fire, the front of your body gets really warm and the back of your body might be cool. So you turn around and you let the fire warm the back of your body. Now, radiation is gonna happen uh, if she were if she were doing this uh, cooking during the daytime, she's going to feel the heat from the sun warming her skin through the air. And that heat could reach her with or without the air because radiation can travel through space. Now specific heat is a special value that every substance has. Each substance has its own value. The definition for a specific heat is that it's the number of joules or calories that are needed to raise one gram of material one degree Celsius. Now what that means to me is the more mass I have, the more joules it's going to take to heat that mass up. If I only had one gram of water versus a hundred grams of water, it would take more heat energy to heat up a hundred grams versus one. Now, because each substance has its own value, that means that some things heat up faster than others. And maybe when you have enjoyed a nice afternoon out in the playground or your backyard, if you have a pool, you've noticed that when you go outside first thing in the morning, the pool water is very cool, where the metal slide might already be warm from the sun from the day. So why does the metal slide heat up faster than the pool water? The answer is that the metal has a lower specific heat. It takes less energy to heat that slide 
than it does the pool water. So when I was younger, I used to put a water hose on the top of the slide and let the water run down the metal slide. And I made myself my own personal water slide because the water instantly took the heat from the slide away and made it very cool. Now, when we're calculating heat energy, we're going to use the formula Q equals MC delta T. Now, delta T stands for the difference or the change in temperature. I could substitute for delta T, T2 minus T1, because delta T is the last temperature minus the first temperature. The two is the last, the one is the first. Now, Q stands for heat energy, and we're gonna measure Q in either joules or calories. Don't get this calorie confused with a food calorie. Your food calorie that you read off of your nutrition facts is actually a thousand heat calories. So one food calorie is a thousand heat calories. All right, we're gonna use mass in grams. And this C stands for the specific heat we just talked about. And we're not gonna memorize those. We're gonna use a chart for each substance of so the common substances we'll talk about in class. So you just need to know where to look for uh, that information. Now be sure to put temperature in Kelvin when you are doing your math calculations for heat energy.